Hello, this is Eric Bobro. In this ARCHICAD video tutorial, I'll show you how to deal with one of the frustrating challenges that I've experienced, perhaps you have, in the 3D window, and that is uneven lighting. Let's take a look in 3D at this model. Oh, okay, we were looking at the floor plan, doesn't have the right layers. We'll turn on the uh, layer combination for the building. You can see now the building and some site information. Well, as you probably know, you can save in the view map views that have certain attributes such as 3D views with certain layers. This view is slightly different. It has the trees turned on and the grid turned off. And you'll also notice it has shadows activated. If I double click here, you'll see no shadows. So each view can contain different information about the way the lighting is handled. Um, now, if we have the view with shadows and we rotate around using the orbit command here, we'll see that on the back of the building, this looks rather dark. There are shadows. Okay, well, let's go and turn off the shadows here. And now let's rotate around. Well, there are no shadows, but it's rather dull and dreary. We can't really make things out. It doesn't look very attractive. It's even hard to tell the difference between you know, surfaces in this way. So how can we improve the situation? Well, the first and most obvious thing is to go to the View menu, 3D View Options, 3D Projection Settings, or use the keyboard shortcut Command Option F3 or Control Alt F3 if you're on Windows. And you'll see the sun is coming from this side. I'll move it around near the back and we'll say OK. Ah, much better. Bright on this side now. Uh, well, but it's a little dark here. Well, let's go ahead and just use that keyboard shortcut, open it up, rotate this around more to this side, and ah, that's rather even. But what happens if we rotate around to the other side? Well, now we're working on this side and everything's sort of dull and, and dreary looking here. Well, how can we avoid that? How can we have it evenly lit regardless of where we go? Let's go back to that keyboard, that command for the projection settings. And instead of just moving the sun around, let's look at more sun. With more sun, we can see how the balance is between sunlight, which is directional light, controlled by that little ball there, and ambient light, which is the overall light that just sort of fills the scene. Now, if I take the ambient light up, the maximum it goes to is 100, and it just slightly brought in a little bit more light in the shadowed areas. And if I take the sunlight down, we'll see that it's starting to change the highlight, making it less prominent. Um, we can also turn off the fog. The fog makes this background here sort of disappear a little bit. Turn that off. It makes it a little bit brighter in here. Let's say OK. Let's see what we got. Oh, looks worse. It's darker everywhere. Let's go back in here and go to more sun again. And what if we took it down further? Well, I experimented with this and found that if you took it down to zero, it looks terrible in this preview window. But if I say OK, you notice that it looks pretty good in 3D. If I rotate around, it looks good from this side. It looks good, in fact, from every side. So that's a really nice trick is to turn the sunlight off to zero in that more sun dialog. Now, if I rotate around to certain angles, you'll see that it is a little hard to tell the difference between one wall and another, but in most angles, you'll see ARCHICAD does a pretty good job of showing some difference between um, the uh, surfaces that face different directions. But we do have a little bit of an issue here, and that is that some of the surfaces which formerly were differentiated, you could see the texture on them, have become black. Let's uh, go ahead and select this wall and see what it is. This wall is using a particular complex profile here with a stone base and I can go edit that in the profile manager. I'll use a new command in ARCAD 17 to directly edit this selected complex profile. In earlier versions you'd have to go find it in the profile manager from the pop-up list. But here I can select this surface that was looking all black and see what it's made of. So in ARCAD 17, we have building materials, and it says it's made of granite. However, what we're seeing is not the granite. We're seeing a surface appearance, what 
formerly were called materials, that is C stone 04. Cultured stone is a manufactured stone product here in the United States. If I go to the options menu, element attributes, surfaces, what formerly were called materials, we can see when I bring up that cultured stone, that C stone 04, it's black. Yet here's the picture of what it could or should look like. Notice the ambient light reflection is set at zero. That's rather odd. If I take this up to 50, you can see it starts to appear up in this preview. Let me take it all the way up to 100. You can see it's now looking pretty similar to the actual texture file. I'll say OK. I don't actually have to save the change in, this, in the profile because, in fact, this is not the profile that's causing the issue. It's the surface, or old name would be the material. So that's looking much better. Let's take a look at the um, roof, and we'll see something similar. Uh, the sur top surface is 07 asphalt shingle. So I'll go here to the surfaces, and we'll look at 07 asphalt shingle. We'll see it's rather dark, and the ambient is not at zero, but it is could be boosted. Let's take it up and see how now it's starting to show more the way this was set. I say OK, and you see that now we can see some differentiation. So that's a little bit better. Now, the grass is somewhat dark. Um, let's take a look at how we can improve that. We'll actually try out the same technique, but we'll need to use something else to make it better. So here's 32 grass green is the surface. We go to the definition for the 32 grass green. And we'll see here's the picture that it's using the texture. Here's what it looks like here. So rather dark. Let's boost up the ambient to 100. That's going to improve it a little bit. I'll say OK. You can see how it got a little bit brighter, but it's still sort of dull. And I'm going to use a different trick, something that we will definitely use on interior things, and you might use it um, in special cases like this. I'll go to that same one for the grass, and I'll look at the emission color. So what is emission? This is a trick that ArchiCAD has in the um, surface or material settings that allows a surface to be brighter than the light that's hitting it. It's actually pretending to be like it's emitting light. If I double click on this color chip, you see that it's black all the way. If I may take it all the way to white and say OK, you'll see this looks really crazy. It's white. It loses all of that texture. It's like there's a super bright light inside this ball. Now let me take it down to halfway and see what it looks like. You can see now it looks sort of like plastic grass that's got a light inside it. So you would use this type of thing for signage. Neon signs or lamps um, can be done, uh, made to look somewhat realistic that way, um, or uh, you know just commercial signs that are supposed to be lit up from inside. Let's take this down. It's a little bit too much, but let's take it down here and say OK. See, now it looks a little bit artificial, but it's brighter than it would be. When I say OK, you can see how... Yeah, maybe this is just more satisfying. It's just a little bit more cheery or, you know, um, brighter look. Now, let's take a 3D perspective view. Here we're looking at the front of the building, and I'm going to go and open up the Navigator preview, and we'll um, move in to the building. So this is a, a nice tool, this Navigator preview, which you can turn on and off using this little button here, and you can um, then move yourself into the building. So you can see I'm now inside the building here. There's only one way that you can do it. Now I'm going to point out that it looks pretty good. You know, it, it's uh, we can certainly see everything and the lighting looks pretty even. Well, check out the ceiling. The ceiling here is using a special material or surface called Paint01 Ceiling White. And perhaps you've used it. And maybe you didn't know why it was looking the way it was or why you might want to choose that. Well, let's just change this temporarily to Paint02 Whitewash and we'll see that, oh, that looks much duller, darker. I mean, it doesn't look very good. Let's undo it. Um, let's take a look at the difference between the this material or between these two surfaces. Go back into surfaces and we'll take a look at the 01 Ceiling White. And notice that the emission color 
is up here. It's about a third of the way up. Now, if I take this off, just to show you, if I turn that off, you can see how it becomes just gray. I say OK. And now the ceiling looks just like it did a minute ago when I changed it. So that's what's making the big difference is the fact that the surface called 01 paint or you know 09 paint 01 ceiling white. And it might have a different name in other versions of ArcCAD, like in the international version, but there's usually one for ceilings which has a, a little boost in terms of the lighting. You say okay, see how it looks. The preview looks just bright white here. I say OK, and you can see what it does to the interior. Now, all of the tricks that I'm doing in terms of, um, let's say, evening up the lighting by removing the sunlight and uh, you know, adding uh, emission, uh, these are things that will only affect the 3D working window. They won't actually affect the rendering that you do, let's say, in Lightworks. Um, and, and certainly, there are other tricks that you're going to use to put in uh, additional light sources um, and in fact lights that we have here in this scene can uh, in Lightworks uh, show up uh, and illuminate the scene but in the 3D window in the working window we don't have any opportunity to do that so this is the workaround that I think you may find useful that will allow you to get evenly lit up scenes here as well as outside now I'm going to show you one other little thing I figured out I go back to that 3D axle view here. Remember that it had shadow turned on, and here's no shadow. No difference. Why? Because the lighting has, we turned off the sun, so there's no opportunity for shadow. So in fact, these views still are available, even though I've changed the lighting. They still go to the same place, but they don't restore or change the lighting setup. So that setup that I changed here of changing the more sun appears to endure. It appears to uh, stay undisturbed, at least in ARCHICAD 17. I haven't tested that on earlier versions. And in fact, I was surprised that these views didn't restore the lighting back to where it was, where this was, um, I think, 100 um, here, and this was um, you know, 90. I think that was what it was, and it was fog. So this is what we had in the file earlier. I say OK, and you can see here we've got that shadow that we started out with. So I hope you learned a few things about changing the settings in ARCHICAD that will allow you to evenly light your model while you're working on it. That will be particularly useful when you're sitting and meeting with a client. This has been Eric Bobro. I look forward to reading your comments and questions on the page down below. Thanks for watching.